In this video, we are gonna check out a plugin called WP Rocket. It's what I personally use on my websites and it will help us improve the site speed. The site we are looking today now, it's um, a website that I made for a client, a very simple website. It has a home page, um, it has a menu, there's a contact page, and it's all. So it's a very small website. This site is built with WP Bakery. Page builders are not known for speed because they add a lot of extra code. They, they have so many features, they can do so much stuff. They have to add code to be able to execute on all those things we want in a page builder. But this site might not be very slow because it's not a very big website and there is not a lot of images. Because mostly when a page is slow, it's because they have a lot of big images. But in this video, we are configuring WP Rocket and it's very simple. My name is John from ToolGC. If you like this kind of videos, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So we are getting started right now. Like I said, uh, we are gonna speed up this website. I made it to WP uh, Bakery. Page builders are not as fast as if we would use, if we use plain HTML and CSS. It's just the reality of page builders. They create pages with a lot of code, which means they are slower. And now we are gonna test this site on GT Metrics. GT Metrics um, analyze the speed of your website. So it's now anal analyzing and we are gonna wait until it's done. It won't take very long. We can see uh, our numbers down here. It's not very fast, as you can see, it's it's 4.9 seconds to load our website. Um, here you can speed uh, the speed visualization, you can see how long it takes, um, the performance is also not very good, and we have a grade of D. It's not very good, but it's also not very bad. Because it's, like I said, not a very big website, so I can live with that. But of course we're gonna speed things up. On your website, it might be much slower or much faster, depends on how big your website is and what your website size is. But this is a very small website, so I don't see major, major um, speed improvement, but, but on your website, it might be faster. So all these things uh, can be reduced in a few clicks using WP Rocket. And these things over here can be increased or improved within a few clicks. So we are going to install WP Rocket right now. There's a link in the description if you want to buy WP Rocket. It is not free. Uh, the pricing, you can, as you can see here, is $49 for one year. Um, it's actually not very expensive because site speed is very important. But there's, there are also discounts throughout the year. So if you go to their site, I believe there's a sign up somewhere in the summer. Uh, you can decide to be on their list and they quite often have discounts. If you don't want to spend $49 to get it right now, make sure you get the discount. And then when you buy the plugin, you will be you will be given access to your dashboard. There will be a link in the description if you also want to buy a WP Rocket. Uh, I have to say uh, it's an affiliate link. Uh, I will get a little commission if you purchase WP Rocket. So if you want to support this channel, I would really appreciate uh, if, if you buy it with my link. I won't force you, of course, but it will help me. So if you go back to your website, um, to your dashboard, and then to the plugins and add new plugin, um, you upload a plugin and then you choose a plugin sorry if i say plugin too much but here um i have my plugin here wp rocket you always have to upload the zip file and then you click on install now then it will load i close this and i wait until it's installed now uh, click on activate plugin and we have a new menu under settings um, called wp rocket let's click on there and now we have the plugin installed and now we are gonna setting up a bunch of settings to make it go even faster. So on dashboards, there are a lot of general information about your car account. I have um, infinite license uh, because yes, I make website for clients and I always run WP Rocket on their website um, because it's very simple and you will get a big improvement. Um, here on the right side, you can clear your cache. Um, you can preload your cache. Those two are uh, very important. Um, but now uh, let's click on cache. Some of these settings, they can break your site and you will get a warning when you check those settings. And it's always a good idea to back up your site before you make any of those drastic settings changes. But you will get a warning, like I said, um, we will see it just in a minute. For the mobile cache, I enable cache for mobile devices because the faster the better. I don't enable cache for locked in users because on my site, uh, if there has been updated, so usually for locked in users, which is generally a smaller percentage of visitors on your site, I don't have cash stored for them. Live spam for 10 hours. It is good enough for me, but you can change it to whatever number you want. You can have 
hours, minutes or days. 10 hours is pretty good for me, so no changes here. But if you want to make some changes, you can change it and then you can click on save changes at the bottom. Um, and now we are going to file optimization. This is where we start compressing the file size. Um, this is where we start reducing by minifying HTML, combining Google fonts, uh, removing query strings from static resource. So I minify the HTML here. Uh, we can also minify the CSS files. Um, this one, this is one of the things that, that can break your site. And here's a warning. If you're concerned, uh, back up your website or migrate uh, your website. Uh, I just click on activate minifying CSS because I have this website also migrate on something else, somewhere else. So I click on it. By checking this box, uh, you can exclude CSS files. Uh, we know that some files should not be cached. You can exclude them here in this box. I'm going to optimize CSS delivery. In this box, um, in this box I'm going to optimize CSS delivery. You can have a fallback URL for critical CSS, just in case the optimization delivery doesn't work. Same option for JavaScript files. Um, we can minify them, um, then we can combine them, and we can exclude inline JavaScript. Uh, we can exclude specific JavaScript file, and we can load deferred, which means they can load later on on the loading process. And that's actually one of the most common things I see with website they have a problem with. And now I'm gonna click on save changes and we are gonna check out the media tab because media is very important. Lazy load is, it helps with load time. One of the number one causes of slow websites is images, like I said in the beginning. And big images and a lot of images. So this enable images to load as they are needed. Not immediately when the page loads, meaning when you scroll down the page you will see images appear and it's not loaded already when you scroll down the page we are going to enable um, for images and we are also enable it for iframes and videos uh, preview images disabled emojis i don't need them on my site and i'm also going to disable wordpress embeds that is something that could break your site here as well. That is when you embed embedding things like uh, just say Google Fonts or the Beamer app or something and that gives you JavaScript from their site um, that you paste into your website and it loads something into your website. This is stopping that. If I enable this, I just click on save changes. Then we are going to head uh, to preload. Preload means that you are caching files before visitors um, comes to your site. If there's a page that's not in the cache, they will wait till the visitor goes there, generate the page, and then it will cache the page. So the very next time a visitor comes, they're gonna see the cached version and it will be faster. So I'm gonna activate preloading. Uh, you can also activate the, the sitemap based preloading. And then this goes through your sitemap and then it preloads all those pages. Here I'm not going to prefetch DNS requests uh, in my case because I don't use that and if you are not sure what that is, then you likely don't use it either. So don't worry about it, it's fairly advanced. Um, click on save changes. And I'm going to advance the rules now. Here you can set the URL to never be cached. If you know things are being updated a lot, you can set those page to not cached. You have never cached cookies by setting the cookie ID. Never cached user agents. So when certain user agents come to your site, they never see a castra castration, for example, you can enter the Google bot in here and they never see a cached version of the, your site. Always the newest version, just in case there's a difference between the two which happens sometimes. You can specify URL, you can specify URLs that are always purged. Um, whenever you publish a page or a post, specify that here you can cache certain two query strings. You can specify those here and I didn't make any changes. Here, this is again very advanced stuff, so most of the people aren't going to use. Like me, I also don't uh, change anything. I just click on save changes and I go to database. Oh, and I go to database. Here we can clean up um, things like revisions, um, auto drafts, um, trashed posts, spam comments, uh, tra trashed comments. Here are also some cleanups. You can also optimize tables and you can schedule automatic cleanup if you want to do all this stuff on a regular basis. Because these things happen as you are working on your site. Here you can also see that uh, it's better to back up your database um, before you run a cleanup. I'm not very worried about it so um, I just click on uh, optimize. 
Then we go to CDN. You can integrate a CDN here. You would enter a C name for your CD, uh, for your CDN. And they are using, uh, for example, if you use Max CDN, you will get information from your Max CDN account and will put it here for a Cloudflare and secure a CDN. They are actually an, an add-on built in the, into the plugin. So you don't have to use this CN section. You can execute certain files um, from your CDN. So next, the heartbeat. The heartbeat API in WordPress is basically checks with the server for changes and it will do this. Uh, when someone comes to your site, when someone visits, there's gonna be a heartbeat set up between that visitor session and your server every 15 to 16, 60 seconds. It's gonna pin your server to see if something's changed something um, used to be an update uh, on the site. If there's some kind of cron job has, uh, that has to run, and that's what Heartbeat does. Disabling Heartbeat completely can break certain plugins. W Bakery, for example, can be broken if you're disabling Heartbeat, but it can also work uh, fine. Another important thing that Heartbeat does is auto-saving your post. Uh, so as you're working on a post, you will know that it's also uh, auto-saved. That's Heartbeat doing that, so you can choose to reduce its activity to every two minutes instead of uh, 15 to 60 seconds. And that will make it uh, so doesn't rent as often, which save server resources. Um, so by default, these are all set to reduce activity. You can set it to uh, do not limit or disable. It's your choice uh, when you keep them all at reduced. Uh, click on save changes. And now I'm going to check out image optimization. Here you can install a plugin called um, Imagify. It's created by... Um, it is great for reducing reducing the file size of your images, um, but it's very easy to install and I don't want to make my video too long. You can just install Imagify here um, and follow the steps. Now there's, there are also the tools, um, just uh, import, export the settings, uh, some tutorials um, of WP Rocket, you can also check it if you don't understand something. If you don't understand something, what I uh, what I set, um, and that's WP Rocket. So now uh, we are done with all the settings. Uh, if you don't understand something, you can watch the tutorials here, or you can comment down below, and I will happy to um, help you. For one last time, we are checking uh, we are checking their price, and um, for a single site license, uh, it's only forty nine dollars. And it's a plugin that is really powerful for your website. And can boost your website not for speed but also it but it also boosts your web ranking because when you have a slow website google will never rank your website because google will, will only show the website that those are fast because people don't like slow pages so i really recommend this wp rocket uh, you can also buy infinite uh, i buy uh, i have this infinite because i also make website for uh, clients and i can use this uh, plugin for for, uh, for the website for my clients well, you can, but if you just have your website, $50 a year, it's not even $5 a month. It's really cheap. So I really recommend it. And, and like I said, uh, you, can, you can check the link in the description down below to check the plugin out. And it's an affiliate link. So if you end up buying through that link, I will make a few dollars. It's not more expensive for you. And I really appreciate the support. So make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm still very new on YouTube, so I'm planning to have much more upcoming videos for you. Like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!